Hi, in this video I will provide an overview of alpha and beta decay, as well as explaining the discovery of the neutrino. Alpha particles are made up of two protons and two neutrons, which makes them identical to the nucleus of a helium atom. A large unstable nucleus may emit an alpha particle. This is alpha decay. In alpha decay, the nucleon number will decrease by 4, due to the loss of two protons and two neutrons, while the proton number decreases by 2. For example, uranium-238 decays by alpha decay to produce thorium-234. Note that we can check that this decay equation is correct by comparing the nucleon number and the proton number to the left and the right of the arrow. So on the left we have a nucleon number of 238 and 234 plus 4 on the right, so it's balanced. On the left we have a proton number of 92, on the right we have proton numbers of 90 and 2, so again it is balanced. There are two types of beta particle, beta negative and beta positive. A beta negative particle is an electron, while a beta positive particle is a positron. A positron is the antimatter version of an electron. It's important to note that these particles do not come from the electron shells of an atom, but are created inside the nucleus via the process of beta decay. In beta negative decay, a neutron turns into a proton, and this produces two particles, an electron and an antineutrino. I'll explain more about neutrinos and antineutrinos later in this video. Because a neutron has turned into a proton, the proton number will increase by 1, while the nucleon number stays the same. For example, carbon-14 decays by beta decay to produce nitrogen-14, releasing a beta particle and an antineutrino. Notice that the proton number has increased by 1. Again, we can check that this decay equation is correct by balancing it left and right, so we can see that the nucleon number on the left is 14, on the right it is 14 plus 0, the proton number on the left is 6, the proton number on the right, 7, plus minus 1, gives us a proton number of 6 on the right as well. In beta positive decay, the opposite happens, a proton, turns into a neutron, producing a positron and a neutrino. This causes the proton number to decrease by one, but again the nucleon number is unchanged. So what are those neutrinos and antineutrinos? They are tiny particles with barely any mass and zero charge. Billions of them are passing through you right now, streaming from the sun, but they are almost impossible to detect because they interact with other particles so rarely. Neutrinos were first predicted when scientists noticed that the energy of beta particles varied up to a maximum, even though the energy lost by the nucleus during beta decay was fixed. In other words, there was some missing energy. In order for energy to be conserved in beta decay, there must have been another particle carrying this missing energy away and so the neutrino was predicted. It was more than 20 years later before scientists actually managed to detect a neutrino. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.